Hello everybody, welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week, we're working on painting the fender for the Nissan NX. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, so this week, uh, we're gonna work on the fender for the Nissan NX2000. Uh, I need to paint it to match the car. And uh, I was gonna paint the front bumper at the same time, but there's a difference between the 1600 and the 2000 bumper. And I'm really gonna try to find the 2000 bumper because it has an integrated spoiler in the front. Um, if not, I'll use the 1600, but I'll probably paint it at a later time. So uh, the one that's on there now matches the car. It's just got the whole lower part of the spoilers completely broken out. So not much to explain other than uh, I'm going to sand this fender down because it's blue and the car's red. So that is today's goal is to get this fender painted, dried, because it's really freaking nice out today, and get it on the car. All right, everybody, so I have got color mixed up in the gun. Uh, the battery died while I was sanding and doing primer, so I just like missed the fact that it died. But the fender is in primer. Um, it's ready for paint. I'm just gonna blow it off with a gun, and then I'm going to uh, test out my spray pattern on the box, like I've done before. And then I'll spray these pieces. I pull off the little trim pieces that go on the fender too. These just get um, double-sided into place. So I can paint those off the fender and then glue them back on. And that's all there is to it. And then we'll just let it dry and put it on the car. And I got an email from a guy just a couple minutes ago about a front bumper. So I might be doing the front bumper tomorrow. We'll see. So this is easily going to be the nicest panel on the whole car. <laughs> um, the rest of the car, the paint is faded and kind of in sad shape. So I'm going to have to see if I, if I can bring it back a little bit. But um, this is something you guys can do on your own. I literally have, I don't know, it's a three foot tall compressor that has like a 40 gallon tank that uh, I got it at like Lowe's that I, that I paint with. and. Um, the reason I'm able to do that is because I have a gun that runs super low CFM. So if you haven't checked out my painting the inside of the rabbit video uh, where I test out that gun, um, I'll put a link to that um, in the video, uh, probably in the description below and maybe right here somewhere. Um, so I did this in my backyard. It, I'm, it's going to be a race car. It's going to be in the dirt. It's going to be... It's kind of the same mentality as the uh, the gray Rallycross Golf that I painted. Um, just trying to make it all one color and make it look nice so that when I put decals on it, it doesn't... It, there's no, you know, the dented panels are gone and all that. So, uh, so right now, the fender is drying behind me on the table. And... I am going to go out front and pull the uh, the damaged fender off the car, and uh, hopefully by then this one will be set up enough that I can put it put it on the car. And then uh, I'm going to wait because I'm picking up a bumper later this week to tighten everything up and snug it down. So, um, in fact, it's probably smart just to wait until later in the week when I have the bumper and everything's dry to put it all on at once. So I'm going to finish cleaning up and take a break and uh, get some other stuff done. And uh, we'll check in with you guys later in the week. All right, everybody. It is day two of the painting hood and fender process. Or hood and bumper. Or <laughs> bumper and fender. There we go. Uh, so... Uh, the guy that contacted me about the bumper ended up it was the same thing as what I already had. I was hoping that it was a 2000 bumper, which has the spoiler along the front of it. Apparently, the only difference is, is the 1600 doesn't have the holes pre-drilled for the spoiler. So, for now, I'm going to put on the 1600 front bumper 
and I have to shoot another shoot another layer of paint over the top of the uh, fender I did yesterday because the paint doesn't quite match. So I want to give a huge shout out to Wesco for uh, letting me come back and they corrected the color on the paint a little bit and uh, threw just a little bit more on the top of the can so I've got enough now to do both the fender and the bumper. So I have to prep the bumper and get it ready and then I'll just set the color sand the uh, fender and we'll be ready to spray more color and then then we'll put them on the car. <laughs> paint's mixed. Um, I've got everything ready to go. All I got to do is put on my, my mask and I'm just going to give everything a quick blow off with the air gun and then I'll test my pattern before I start obviously because you always want to do that anytime you take the gun apart and put it back together. You want to make sure that it's all set up right. And then I'll get the at least as close to the correct color as I can get on, this, on these panels and uh, that this part of it will be done. All right, the first coat is on. The compressor is still running because it's a tiny little compressor and it's uh, working pretty, pretty hard on this job. But first coat is on. I've got the piece that I pulled off of the fender. Um, like the old fender, and I'm just going to compare it to what I've got here to make sure that it actually looks pretty close, and I think it does. So let's take a look. So in the sun, here's the piece I just painted. Here's the old piece, which is obviously dirty. I think this is going to be a pretty good close match. Uh, I'm pretty happy with with how this has turned out so far. So. Uh, I'm going to take a quick lunch break. That gives this stuff time to flash. Then I'll mix up the last of my paint and I'll put on one more good solid coat. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to let these dry. And then I'll st actually at that point, at that point, I'll go out and pull the fenders and the and the uh, and the front bumper off the car now and get it ready to put these things on. So good progress. everybody so the paint part is done now I need to get the fender and front bumper off of this car uh, to get it ready to put the freshly painted stuff on Tried to put the front bumper on apparently the 1600 bumper versus the 2000 bumper is different and the only way to fix it is to cut it i'm just gonna let that sink in for a minute i should have test fit it before i put it on i shouldn't have taken someone's word for it that it would just slide right on there so now i have to cut a freshly painted bumper So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut the bumper. Okay, I'm not going to jump into it that quick, but 
it's not as bad as it sounds. I took a took a look at it. So here's here's the issue is this section right here is interfering with the bumper beam on both sides, so it won't let it go in very far. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to come here and make a cut around. As you can see, with the old bumper, get out of the way, strap. So with the old bumper, it came all the way across, and then this curve here um, just didn't have as much in the way. So, so I'm gonna cut up a freshly painted bumper. Test fit, always test fit. Everybody. So I was editing the end of the episode and realized that I didn't shoot an ending. <laughs> I didn't even show you guys uh, how the car looked all back together. So unfortunately it's kind of wet and gloomy outside and uh, I have everything tarped up because, well, it has T-tops and it rains all winter here. So I presume that this car leaks to some degree. So <laughs> when I'm not using it, I keep it, keep at least the top half of it covered to keep it dry inside but uh, let's take a look at how the uh, paint turned out so there you go it actually turned out pretty good I'm really happy with how this car looks now um, I still need to get some wheels. These wheels, I, I just can't, I can't embrace them. I don't like them. Um, and I need to get snow tires. I need to get the skid plate built. But um, I've got all winter. Uh, I still need to do timing chain and tensioner and all kinds of maintenance stuff. The, the boots for the steering rack are torn. Uh, so I got to replace those because I don't want to get dirt in there. Um, so lots of stuff to do, but uh, this car's coming along. Uh, Hopefully we'll have some snow tires and uh, uh, some new wheels here pretty soon. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time, get out there and work on something.